I can do it with no heels. Nope. Six-year-old Avery loves to play and tumble. She has a blissful life here, but her mom, Jordan, knows if she had not adopted her, Avery's life in her home country of Haiti would look so different today. If she hadn't came home, she would be in that same situation. They're starving children, There's, they have no homes, no food, no water, no nothing. That's why Jordan and her parents are flying to Haiti Thursday. They visit Avery's orphanage every year, but this time they'll be helping victims of Hurricane Matthew. The family will assemble relief packages with items like bed sheets, towels, water purification tablets. Then they'll drive to the hardest hit areas to give them out. It's heart wrenching. It's places we've been, places we've seen, you know, people we know. It's even worse, they say, because the country was still trying to rebuild from the 2010 earthquake. Then this disaster washed that progress away. So many people were still living in tents and falling down buildings since the 2010 earthquake. It, it isn't good on, like you said, a good day, and it's really bad now. I gotta run and do it. The family says they just want to give back to the place that gave them the gift of Avery. She came home in 2014, and we fell in love with the country and the people, and we just want to be able to give back to them. Now, the family is taking material donations like toiletries and clothing, but cash donations are preferred since they'll be going back to support the Haitian economy. You can find links to donate on our website, newson6.com. In Rogers County, I'm Annie Chang, News on 6.